Good morning. We're looking at example two out of section 3.4 optimization of business calculus with Excel. We're looking at optimizing a more complicated function. Last time we looked at a parabola where we could find the minimum and maximum without any complicated techniques because we know about parabolas and know how to find the maximum from the coefficients. Here we're looking at a more complicated function. P of Q is 10Q minus 20 times e to the minus q over 50 minus 10. And we're interested in looking on the interval from 0 to 400. We're going to set it up like we did last time. We have q, q plus 0.01, q minus 0.01, and then the function evaluated at those points. That gives us the derivative. We know off the top we need two points. We'd like to find a place where the derivative is 0. If I'm looking at my blue function, I see I have two endpoints which are local minimums and I'm going to have a maximum somewhere around there. But I'd like to know where. I'd like to find a place where the derivative is zero. I wasn't lucky enough to choose my coordinates so that I get one off the top. But I see it's pretty close to zero, somewhere between 40 and 60. So I'm going to make a guess of 50 as a place where the derivative goes to zero and I've got it down to 0.146. I'm going to use goal seek, what if analysis. I would like G5 to go to zero by changing A5. And it says 51.99829 is my place. I want to check to see that this makes sense as a minimum. I'm going to look a little bit higher and a little bit lower. So I'm going to check 51.99 and 52.01 and we'll notice that both of those are a little lower so that's my maximum so if I'm setting it up I really have three points to consider the two endpoints and the place where we said the derivative was zero I compare the values of P at those points I have minus 30 minus 8.2 and 166.727. This is going to be the minimum, and this is going to be the maximum. It's worthwhile noticing how robust this is. I just put a function in, said find where the derivative is zero. That gave me my candidate points. Thank you.